These are the instructions for setting up your teacher laptop to Toshiba copiers only. First begin by locating the printer host name displayed on a sticker on the front panel of the copier. You will need to refer back to this printer host name when setting up your printer. Next, begin by clicking on the apple on the top left corner of your screen and selecting System Preferences. From this win window, you're going to click on Print and Scan. And then you're going to locate the plus symbol on the left-hand side and click on it to access the Add Printer window. Select Default, and in the search window, you're going to type in KS Print 1. This will locate all of the printers on campus. You will then search for the printer name that you recorded earlier. The print list may not be in alphabetical order, so you will need to look for your printer name or you can type it in at the top and it will bring up your printer. If for some reason you do not find your printer listed here, you will need to contact the number for Toshiba. You can also access them from the help desk. Okay, once you've located your printer number, you're then going to go to print using to choose a driver or printer model. Click on Select Printer Software. And then in the search button box, you're going to type BWD. You're now going to look for your printer software using the model number of your copier. If you do not see the exact number of your copier, you're going to select the series number that is one above your copier model number. So for example, if you have a copier model number series E4200C, you would look at the list and select anything that is above, one above that number. So I would select ES4520C series. Click on OK. And now for the name, you can change it into something more descriptive. And for location, you can give it a location. And then you can click on Add. Okay. If your copier has the option for stapling and hole punch and multiple drawers, you can enable that option by clicking on Options and Supplies. Then you will select Driver from the top menu. And under Finisher, instead of Not Installed, you're going to select the appropriate option. So if your copier can staple and hole punch, you're going to select that. And for drawers, you can indicate how many drawers there are and press OK. okay. So now if I were to print this document, what I would see in my print options
under printer features I would be able to select long edge punch without rotation with rotation and stapling and I would be able to print I would also be able under paper feed to select the drawers.